All right, are we on? Cool, cool. All right, welcome to Soundcheck, y'all. Hold on a sec. Uh, cool to me. Yeah, I guess not. Be on in just a sec. Hold on, I'm just doing sound check shit, so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, at least this will give give you all some time to uh, get all settled in, get some commentos going, and uh, yeah. So give me a sec. Okay. That's the one thing I hate about Prism. It doesn't it doesn't let you do everything. It lets you do like 99% of things. But oh shit. Okay. But you have to like, especially if you're mobile, you gotta like I don't know. If it's on desktop it's easier to, to fuck with, so okay. See if I missed any comments. I don't think I did. No. All right. Cool. Cool. So, <clears throat> get the gimbal working. I don't know how it's gonna sound though. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Not much of a wide angle from the front, but uh, y'all get the idea. So we're about at the three minute mark here, um, just uh, for my own um, record. So anyway, all right, we're live, pal. Once again, Andy, so Andy, Andy here. Apologies for the wind. I don't know how scuffed this stream's going to be, but it's a little windy because we're at the beach out here. Well, I guess you can't really see it. This house much yet. But we'll get down there. Um, so we're at the beach here in Kamakura. Spot that I usually go to during the summer. Obviously, it's a little bit colder, so not a whole lot of beachgoers. You get a lot of windsurfers, though, because obviously the wind's going pretty hard right now. So, uh, that said, we'll flip the camera around and uh, begin the stream. <laughs> okay. Should have brought my sunglasses, damn. Like I said, it was going to be clear and sunny. I didn't think it was going to be this sunny, but yeah, it is. It's shug and I touch. So, yeah, we've shown on. You're going to hear this guy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Some motorcycles coming this way. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> hey. There's not a lot much going on there. <laughs> people are a lot, a lot more friendly around here. You got to Tokyo, people are like, let's go.
I've been wanting to go to the beach and live stream for a while now. But, you know, opportunity never really came up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this thing's taking a while. But, actually, if you're going to do, like, beach photography and stuff, this is actually a pretty good time to do it, because, uh, especially with winter, um, there's not a whole lot of humidity, so nice, super clear skies. Um, Windy days like that, pretty much all you get surfers. Um, see a few of them. It's kind of hard to make out on them. We should have brought my winter coat out. Oh, man. I don't think it's going to be this cool. I still got my trash taste on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But yeah, so there's the beach. I could just walk straight through, but I figured just, you know, walk down a little bit further. Show you guys around. So, yeah, for those wondering, yo, what up, Jace? Yeah, job hunts. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's something else, I'll tell you. But, but I do appreciate the good vibes. I'm going to need them, man. It's, uh, it's been a pretty rough week. Yeah, that's you can get on the beach. I should know this. This is the beach I go to all the time for the, uh, the YouTuber get togethers for beachness. You just go to Yugihama because people don't really give much of a shit. You know, so. Oh wow, there's actually some people out there. Huh. Didn't, didn't think there would be aside from surfers and stuff. I mean, you can. Again, I wish I wish my phone had some zoom. Like the best the best zoom this phone's got is uh not that far. <laughs> so now you can kinda see it, but yeah, we'll just <laughs> go on the wide angle. Whew. Yeah this this right here man, this is why I really love living in Japan. And, uh, you know, past couple days, especially, I've just been having a real crisis of uh, faith, I guess you could say. You know, I've just been uh, applying for a bunch of jobs and stuff, and not really getting anywhere. And my current job, like, I know I, know I make my current job sound terrible. Um, it, it was when I first started. Now it's not so bad because my boss kind of lets me do whatever now which is good and a lot of the shit that I started off doing that was outside my scope they hired uh, some part timers to take that off my hands so I will say it's getting better in that regard but still getting paid very very below what I should be I don't want to give it exacts but uh, <laughs> it's not livable put it that way um, yeah, this spot, usually around, actually this whole beach area, you know, usually has, um, beach houses and stuff when it's, uh, in season. I mean, now, all you got is, uh, a wall and stuff, but, if you see two videos, come on, well, be like, yeah, sure, man. I'm looking forward to it. I just ha haven't been right on the inside for a while. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to explain it to people, but it's it's hard, man, because you know sometimes it kind of devolves into like hashtag first world problems, or you know you get people who are just kind of incredulous with the whole situation. It's like, oh, why don't you just get a fucking job already? I'm like, motherfucker, what do you think I've been doing for the past four months? <laughs> you know? Yeah, I had that boning kai. That was actually really good. I really, I really needed that, man. I, I really did. So I got this little on ramp. So, like vehicles and stuff. So, that's pretty good. Um, 
Yeah, it, it definitely did. I, I wish there was more, though. Because, like, I don't know, it's harder to hang out with people because everybody's so damn busy. Right? Ooh, that sand's kicking up. Yeah, I really should have brought some sunglasses. <laughs> Goodness. Um, but, you know, I was talking with Zach, and uh, he says that there are going to be a lot more uh, events coming up here in 2023, especially since, you know, country's opened up and uh, everybody's a lot more. Jeez, Pete, can you guys see them waves? Good lord. Man's fucking getting it today. Anyway, uh, so there's a lot more uh, willingness and ableness to uh, pull off these uh, creator events. And I've actually been seeing some, some pop up on, uh, on the meetup.com. these little places out here too. You got this little restaurant right here, a little surf shack sort of deal. A lot of this this area kind of reminds me of like California. To be honest, you know, like on a station San Diego. You see a lot of places like this for sure. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, you just got this. I don't know if you can see that. The camera didn't tilt up. Yeah. Um, let's see if I can find a place that's uh, blocked by the wind a little bit. You're not going to get to see the beach, unfortunately, then. But, uh, yeah, man, you know. Okay, starting to Let's pick it up a little bit. Oh, uh, goodness. But, uh, yeah, there's a little bit more on the beach. Sorry about that. I should get, like, some kind of windscreen or something. I tried doing a little clip on my That shit ain't working because you get all that buzz and stuff. Which makes it even more annoying with the wind. Uh, so I don't know what to do. As far as that goes. Aside from, like, getting a new phone, which I'll probably have to end up getting anyway because, like, the battery on this. Pumping today, jeez. Jeez Louise. Uh, well, the only reason for me to move out here, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to. I know some people do it. You know, I know some people like get their surfboards and stuff, and get on down. 
down here from Tokyo and stuff. Come down here on the weekend or whatever. Probably move a bit further up. Ah, got some sand in my eyes. All right, we'll move away from the beach since it's too windy to hear. Hopefully it'll help a little bit. I don't know. Probably not. But we'll try. We'll try. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um. Trying something new because. Coming through the wind, yeah. Well, it's because I'm a bit further away from the beach, so the wind's not hitting me as hard. So that's kind of what I'm getting to do. But, uh, yeah, apologies for all the, the wind noise and stuff. Trying something new. Trying something new. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Yukiyama Beach in Kamakura, down in southern Kanagawa. One of my all-time favorite places. Really fantastic beach, especially in the uh, in the on season, because I mean it, it does get crowded, but they're a lot more chillax about rules and stuff. Whereas if you go to Z Zushi Beach, which is where a lot of people recommend you go, um, I would only recommend Zushi Beach if you have if you have kids. If you have kids, it's fine. Uh, but if you ain't coming in with the with the kids, just come out down here, man. Even if you have kids, I see a lot of kids come down here too. But Zushi Beach is more geared towards family, that's why I, I recommend it. And that's usually where all the sailors and stuff go too. But they're a lot more strict with the rules down there, so I don't usually usually fuck around with that. So yeah, it sounds like the wind's dying down a little bit. You can still kinda see the beach off the coast there. Yeah, I made a video out here like a long ass time ago. Um just looking at servers and stuff like there's one little beach get together um brought my camera out just to take pictures and stuff uh, i still feel kind of weird like doing that just randomly you know uh, people might think i'm just like perving on them or something i'm like no i'm just it's fucking beaches bro you know it's just and you see like people bringing their dogs and stuff out here i think uh you know after uh, we had a little bit of a talk, me and a couple people at the, uh, the get together last night here, I'll, I can feel the wind pick up a little bit. So move a bit further down into uh, to more of the housing area. It blocks it off a little bit. I'll try not to film the kids though, because uh, actually, yeah, fine. Yeah, this is a nice place for families too. You know, you got the kids you can kick around the ball and. It doesn't snow much down here, but if it did, there's a hill down there. You get to bog in a little bit. Kind of reminds me of uh, back home, actually. We had a place like that out in Salina. The hill was much steeper, though. But so when it snowed, you could just, like, take your sled or your toboggan or whatever out. And you could just do that. <laughs> uh, man, that's one of the things I love about showing on area, man. You see all kinds of dogs and stuff. And... I mean, yeah, you see dogs everywhere, but, uh, I don't know, it just hit different here, you know? And we got some Japanese vending machines, of course. Um, a little short on change today, because <laughs> I kind of, you know, I don't really have much on me. Install my card. Sir, since they don't take card, Shogunai. Um, so I guess we'll just walk around here since it's, I know it's not the beach, so clickbait, clickbait. <laughs> But uh, there's other parts of Kamakura we can mosey around at, look around, and have a little chat. Now the wind's dying down around buildings, so it's not hitting me as hard. So, um, like I was saying, <clears throat> like I was saying, we were talking yesterday about stuff, and you know, I met some met some good people. Um, I don't know if they're in the chat today or not. But I uh, met some good people from the stream, and uh, just got to talking, and it, it, it wasn't really anything intentional that they did. I think they just kind of said it offhandedly. 
but uh, they just kind of introduced me as like a live streamer. And I'm like, hmm, I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, yeah, live streaming right now, but uh, you know, I never really consider myself a, a live streamer. Checking to see if they need to card, they don't. Um, ooh, long bikes, nice. Um, I never really consider myself like a, a live streamer per se. Like I do it from time to time, but I don't really consider myself as such. But you know, the more the more I kind of had some time to think about it, it's like you know, one of the things that I've been having problems with in making content now is just. You know, having the time to to do stuff because, like, I don't want to, you know, put too much work in post for myself because, I mean, if I just sit down and make the video, that's not that much time, really. Yeah, oh, I love the rambling streams, man. I remember he did one, or she, I think it's a he, I don't know. Regardless, um, remember they did one in Yokosuka many years ago and before I moved back I would just like watch it and listen to like the ambient noise and stuff I'm just like really brings me back you know because I mean yeah he did a bunch of stuff in Tokyo and stuff but fucking everybody covers Tokyo dude you know it's it's just like way oversaturated plus I always feel kind of weird you know because like but I figure if you know if I cover some like undercovered areas, I think that'll kind of be my end, and also just areas that I really like, like Shonan, you know, Southern Kan Kanagawa area. Um, and like I, like I was saying, you know, the whole live stream thing, it just kind of got me thinking, like maybe maybe I should do this like a lot more, you know, because like once it's done, it's done, right? Like, I, I mean, I could get somebody to edit stuff, but I just don't want to put that much work in post for myself, you know? Because it's like, if I were to put these together, and it's like, okay, you make the video, and then you gotta sit your happy ass down and, like, find the nice clips and put in the good editing and stuff. And I know it's like, well, you're a video editor, Andy. Yeah, but it's also taking time away that I could be working on other projects or trying to look for new clients or you know could say job hunting too but job hunting is very easy what the hell is that <laughs> sound like something was opening up but uh yeah you know and I was I was watching a uh like a little podcast interview with Roberto Blake and he was talking about stuff like this where it's like you have to make content creation right size for you you know so a little side I love the freaking houses and stuff in the Shonen area I mean you get a little taste of it here but if you go to like you know Chigasaki or Hiratsuka or something like that you see a lot more California inspired stuff for sure um yeah, man, you just gotta make, gotta make it right size for you. So you have to consider what you have to work with. That's you know, both equipment-wise, time-wise. That's the big thing for me. I just, I just don't have fucking time or even the energy to go like as all out as I want to. You know, because once I get the full-time job, that's you know, gonna take up the majority of my time. So I just gotta figure out how to make it right size for me. And so, you know, it's one of the things, you know, trying to get more uh, editing clients and stuff like that. So I'm not as financially reliant on a full-time job. I mean, obviously I need the full-time job for the visa, but you know, I was talking with some people and they're like, well, I got a visa and I only work part-time. So I don't know if they have like special circumstance or or what. More likely, probably. But you know, it's uh, 
does open up the possibility, you know what I'm saying? So, something else to keep in mind, you know? But yeah, we're here at uh, Watazuka Station on the Inoden Line. So, this is the uh, electric Inoshima line that comes down here. So, have a little walk around here. Um, yeah, you know, it's just, if I didn't have the visa thing to worry about, it would definitely make things a lot easier because I could just go freelance and as long as I have a few good clients that I can financially rely on and make stuff, then it's much easier for me to schedule things out. You know, I don't have to show up at an office working a nine to five or none of that shit. Because, you know, if old Cloney Macaroni taught us anything is that, you know, just about anything can be done from home or outside the office. I mean, obviously not everything, but certainly what I do. You can 100% do it outside the office. So with that in mind, I can be more in control of how I spend my time, you know? I can uh, work on some stuff. And, you know, I talk with uh, some people at the party too because they do IT work. And, like, their schedule pretty much is how I want my schedule to be. You know, they largely... I mean, not all of them, but they largely work from home. Or they have, like, a hybrid setup, which is the most common. So that they come in the office maybe twice, three times a week, maybe. And uh, just do it that way. But me, I have to get my happy ass to the office during rush hour. <laughs> and it's like, ah, uh, man. Ah. Uh, Oh, you guys are going to love this section. Here, I'll get it this way. Um, yeah, you're going to love this section. I, I love walking down this little beat because uh, it has so many little shops and things like that. And, like, when it's really in season, like, a lot of these, I mean, they're most of them are closed, kind of, for the most part. They're open-ish, but, like, when it's like in season time, and there's lots of people around here. Holy moly, dude. <laughs> the shop's got all kinds of cool, like retro, you know, surfer California slash Hawaiian style stuff out here. Um, and, you know, I definitely want to move out here at some point. So, first. Maybe not the Kamakura specifically, but just shown on. You know, I I think that if I were to move to a particular spot, it would probably be Fujisawa. I think that would be the most uh, be like the easiest sort of thing because it has like a lot of big city stuff. So you know, I can still kind of get by with uh, with those creature comforts and things, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, you're not sorry. Oh, there's two black dogs. <laughs> That's funny. I thought they, <laughs> thought they had the same owner. But, yeah, like I was saying, uh, Fujisawa. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's so much cool architecture out here. And just, you know, a lot of stuff that's really undercovered, you know? Like, most people, when they cover stuff in Japan, it's all like Tokyo. Some might get a little, little, little frisky and go out to like Yokohama or something. But it's pretty much just Tokyo, man. Or like Kyoto, Osaka, stuff like that. That's about it, you know? There's a lot of undercovered areas out here, you know? And just these little like hole in wall places. Like look, this guy's got like a tiny little car like right over there. See that little orange car right there? <laughs> Yeah, you don't really see stuff like that in Tokyo. Um, and plus, you know, cost of living is also much cheaper out here as well. Because, you know, you're further away from Tokyo. That's kind of how it goes. Usually, the further away you are from 
from a big city, namely Tokyo, but uh, further you are from the big areas, um, cheaper the properties and stuff are. Um, but you have to balance that out with commute. So there are some areas that uh, are better for that, some that are worse. I love used. Kind of reminds me of Shimo Kitazawa a little bit. All these like used clothes and stuff. <laughs> See a lot of that around here. Um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, like a downtown sort of area. Kind of where I used to live a little bit. It's kind of like a mishmash of buildings and things. Um, yeah, you know, oh, check out that clock. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a big old grandfather clock. That's cool. But, let's see. Architecture. Yep, I already read that. <laughs> okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd say Fujisawa would probably be the better place just because it's it has a, uh, a commuter line that goes straight to uh, Shinjuku if need be. So, you know, I'm trying to get the IRLs set up to where, you know, ideally I can work from home. Don't know if that's going to happen though, because, you know, but ideally it would require me to be in the office less and less. And that way I don't have to go to the big cities if I don't need to. Or if I do, it, you know, won't require that much, much time. Whoop, shit. <laughs> okay. Let's check out the train. So this will be the uh, little electric uh, Anoden car. So if you look on like Instagram and stuff, you see these, uh, they're very common on Instagram if you look up like Kamakura or Shonan or something like that. Uh, I don't know what direction it's coming from. Uh, usually they tell you, but we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> so. Yeah, looks like we got here just in time. <laughs> So, I think it's coming from that way. Could be wrong though. <laughs> And I actually found some places out in uh, Fujisawa as well. There's a, there's a share house that's a bit more temporary, but uh, you know, there's apartments and stuff. Oh, it's coming from this way, I think. Yep, here it comes. And there it goes. Oh, hi. Hi, Jimbaru. Hi, so this. That's cool. Used pot, well, not used, but uh, a little pottery shop. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if I had my camera out here proper, you know, I'd probably be snapping all kinds of pictures and stuff as well. But I just wanted to come out here, go for a nice little walk, and just kind of, yeah, it was very small. Yeah, the inner is very, very small. It's only a couple cars. It goes from Kamakura all the way down to Enoshima. So Enoden is short for uh, Enoshima Denki Line. There's Denki Sen, I, I think it's what the Japanese is. So it's an electric train, basically. Um, oops. <laughs> and this, this gimbal's a little, a little wonky today. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we are, where are we at? Oh, okay. Now I know where we're at. So usually, okay. <laughs> usually I take this uh, this road up up to the station again when we're all done with beachness. That's why I was like, oh, this area looks so familiar. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Could go a bit further. But, um,
Yeah, I'll just have a little walk around. We're... It's a nice day. Why not? You know, I talk so much about different spots. I really wanted to make like a uh, like a full video talking about the Shonan area and like its history and like breaking down different uh, cities and things. Oh, that's cool. I guess they rebranded this spot. This was a uh, like a car themed restaurant. I guess some kind of promo thing. Um, they had really good food here. I remember last time. But uh, yeah, I guess they renamed it Another Day in Coffee Food. Another day coffee and food, I should say. <laughs> so they had like really amazing Mexican food. It looks like it's uh, like a rice bowl place. I'm not gonna go inside, but uh, I'll just show you what they got. So uh, they got all these little rice bowls and things. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I just love this design though. It's like all glass and just like this kind of globe looking thing. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Another day coffee and food out here in Old Kamakura. So, <sighs> yeah, man. Yeah, there's like certain, there's certain like high energy spots in Japan. But it's, it's different for everybody. But, you know, for me, I just love being down here. You know, other people are just way nicer and. I don't know, it's just, they're not, it's not quite as like hustle bustle, stress and anxiety as it is, you know, the further up you go. It's just, you know, it's easier, man. And, you know, and I, I can feel that like energy difference when I'm like talking with people. And you know, I talk with people that live down this way and my anxious ass living up by Tokyo. I'm just like, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> you know? I should be where they are. But, you know, they knew some, somebody, knew somebody, got them hooked up with a job, or they got married and their, their wives live out in that area, so it's easy for them to get a spot, or whatever the case may be. It's different for everybody, but these are the commonalities. I should look at this little thing. I hear this, this old, old school looking Lawson's. So we'll switch. There we go. I haven't seen a Lawson's with that, like almost all white design. Usually it's like the reverse, or it's like blue with the white stripe. But that must be one of the older. I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> I haven't really seen it like that out in the wild before. But. Yeah, man, it is. It's a lot colder than I thought it was going to be out today. I mean, obviously the wind. Ow, fuck. Not helping things, but, uh, yeah. <sighs> so much nicer out here, though. That's another thing too, just eventually get to a point where you start having uh, having pets and stuff, but that's going to be a bit more long term. You got to get more financially saddled. I can barely afford to feed my own self. <laughs> so, you know, you just think about these things, getting older, it's near the end of the year, and just think about it. Okay. Let me just turn that way and well, Comcro Station will open up here. Here in a second. I'll tell you on sound. <laughs> Didn't know they were going to stop there. <laughs> right. Can I off? Yeah, never mind. I thought, I thought I heard my phone vibrate. I was like, wait, what? It was good. Actually, 
240, it's not too bad. And thankfully I brought my charger with me, so. Won't be able to use it while I'm streaming though, but. We'll be going to the other side of Kamakura Station here. Coming up here, it looks like. So, here's Studio Ponderosa. <laughs> Damn. I haven't heard Ponderosa in many years. Many, many years. It's an old steak, steakhouse. Um, wasn't particularly good, but uh, it was very common back in like the 80s and 90s. I don't even think they exist anymore. But. Yup. Not sketchy as fuck. I'm not gonna say about that. So we got Tory Gate coming up here. Um, whew. Cold one today. Cold one. Okay. So, I'm trying to get my bearings. So, we got the station. So you can find another scenic spot coming up here. Probably just keep moving, yeah. But it's Sunday out here, so that's why it's gonna be really busy once you get closer to the city center. So yep, there's a station right there. So just to give you a reference. So I think it'll start thinning out the further away we get from the station. Maybe. We'll see though. We'll see. I'm trying to learn again. <sighs> There's a be flying overhead. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty small. But... Oh. <laughs> Pigeon was diving pretty low. Well. Should it? Uh, so, let's see where we're at. <laughs> Family Mart design looks a little different too. It's like the green's darker. I don't know if it's just an older design or what the deal is. Yeah, you got New Year's coming up, so they're starting to set up some New Year's stuff. A little, little bit. Not too much though. But. Let's see. Probably should rename the stream at this point, but fuck it, yo. Yes, yeah. Okay. Got the Tory Gate there. It's kind of hard to see, though. Too many people. But, I just a little bit. There you go. So. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is why it feels so weird. This is why I don't go streaming out in like huge crowds and stuff. It feels weird. Usually, like doing it when there's like nobody around. But it is what it is, I suppose. So. Oh man, I remember come down here a long ass time ago. I haven't been here in years. Wow. So, this is like a sweet shop, looks like. Like Wagashi and stuff like that, so. Very popular, it looks like. Um, so, close shop over there. Is it this one? I can't remember. Because we went on a tour in Kamakura like a long ass time ago. And there was like some... It felt like a really high-end restaurant that I went to. But... It's been so many years. I don't remember. Hard saying. <laughs> so... I got church. 
you see the that a lot of that a lot out of here sorry wind is freezing my face but I mean, you see that a lot out here because uh well place over the scott <laughs> She was like, oh my god, Adam Sandler? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't really go anywhere because what else am I gonna go? Got a whole bunch of people coming at me from the left, and the right on the right rather. But Ooh, that was some chocolate, so that looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Maybe that restaurant's not around anymore. Could be. I mean, it's it's been many years, so hard saying. Hard saying. Komavi, komava, I should say. That's cool. See, I love all these little like knickknack shops and shit like that. It's really cool, you know. In Tokyo, it's all like high end shit. It's just like, fuck it, bro. And about that life. Oh, nice and warm too. <laughs> Just a, a short respite, if you will. Right. Yeah. Surprised the ice cream is still popular during this season. <laughs> Usually, like if you come out here, the, uh, the matcha and sweet potato ice cream it's like really popular out here. So I. I thought that was more like a seasonal thing. <laughs> so. Oh, it's like a shop. You guys, Crip Shop 2. Unstable due to a weak network connection. Huh. Yeah, I need to give you one of them gun run. IRL backpack streams. And that's just like thousands of dollars or so. Ain't got that kind of bread. Ain't got it like that, unfortunately. But I would love to get it at some point. Just make things easier. So I don't have to be like, oh well, you used too much data. Oh well, shall and I. <laughs> Going from one tour gate to the next. Getting close to that big temple up there. I forget the name. I forget the name of it. I'm sure it'll say. I just forget it off the top of my head. It's been it's been a while since I've been to this uh, this part of Kamakura. Usually when I come out here, I just go to the beach. But yeah. Although another time I was here was we went to go see the Daibutsu. That's cool, I got like beer and stuff there. Nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, see, you see a lot of... See a lot of stuff like that. So you see like the purple and the green ice cream. So that's sweet potato and uh, matcha green tea ice cream. So... Ooh, that smells good. Okay. <laughs> That's cool, they got all these crystals and stuff. Check that out. Hope the connection's hanging in there. If not, then y'all just have to watch the post stream, I suppose. But I am as crowded as hell today. Didn't expect to be this crowded. Shut. Yeah, it's a little sand. Oh, that's cool. I got little Sanrio designs. See, look at that little Hello Kitty and stuff. That's cool. Got some more Wagashi and stuff. Over there. Okay. This is more of my jam. <laughs> I got some elbow room here. Shit. Felt kind of weird talking, just walking in line. <laughs> Everybody's looking at me like, what is sick? Oh my god, you know. 
you know. Um, but it's whatever. It's just just my own complex. You're insecure. You're insecure. You're insecure. Oh, look at look at this place. All right. Look at that Tory Gate, huh? You get the uh, little temple right about there ish. So it looks like everybody's. There we go. Time to cross. And the wind's picking up, of course. That's how it is. How it is. So. Yeah, let's go wander around. I know it's not hot today, but uh, actually, damn, I haven't been in, in this area in a while. I actually made like a series of videos out here, too. They were with my shitty cell phone, though. <laughs> so it was like all shaky and shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, technology, man. Technology. Take a look at that. I guess that's the original bridge. Can't cross on it now because not structurally sound, but yeah. Let's we'll have like a little look around and then go back. Is it seagulls? Some play bird. Has the connection too weak? Ah. Let's go down this way. A little bit further away from the main crowd. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I haven't been out here since that original video. Like, I really should make like a new one, but I think we'll wait, wait for the season to change. <coughs> Look at that, so. Ooh, gonna be catching lunch today. Good Lord. Look at them. Damn, these things are huge. I don't remember them being that big. They must be the house Tonji, <laughs> or Tonbi, sorry. Wow. Oh. <sighs> Connection's still unstable. Look at him go. Must be fish or something down there. Oh, that's nice. Oh. They won't tilt up. See if the Tommy gets something. You don't get something there, Tommy son. <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta see those too often. I guess it's like a little bird sanctuary. So I see the Tommy right there. Going back in, I guess. We're going elsewhere. And more white birds. There's another Tommy. See if you can get it this time. I don't have any snacks, so I ain't got to worry. No worries. Huh. Yeah, sorry if the signal keeps dipping out. <clears throat> oh, someone's hungry. <laughs> so this is where all the Tombi go. Huh. That's cool. Oh, you can see all kinds of ducks and stuff. Oh wow, check these out. These aren't too, well you see a couple common ones, but there's a couple ones that aren't too common. Check this out. It's like a whole, some of the red-headed ones. 
over there too. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's find a different spot, get a closer look. A little too far away. There we go, that's better. That's better. Okay. So you guys have it. I don't know if y'all can see it that. It's a little bright. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> oh, look at him. There's a bunch of koi in there, too. Kind of reminds me of uh, when I did the live streams by Shigawara. They have like a whole bunch of koi. You see it with their mouths open and stuff? Dang. Oh shit. <laughs> the tombi got tombi got fed. I'm get the does eh? Let's see. Oh, take, oh that one take card. Okay. That's nice. Actually. Oh, fuck. Ah, let's see. That one takes they all take? I guess it's just these two left. Alright. it like that and we press that but whew, yeah. That's nice. yeah let's go a bit further away so that Tommy don't see me <laughs> let's go over here Okay, far away from the Tommy, and it's just coffee, so I don't think that's pretty healthy for him. All right, so let's flip, flip it up, flip it around real quick. To the front, to the front. So you see my goofy self eating, or <laughs> eating, drinking. I'm not eating here, Tommy. Good. Not eating. Just drinking some coffee. Coffee. Uh, I ate the premium beans, but it's like the boss version, I guess. 30th anniversary, too. So, something I noticed with, uh, if you get, like, vending machine coffee and stuff is, um, if you get it in either, like, a gold can or if it has a gold label, it usually means less sugar. So, um, you can even see it with this one. If you see in the corner, my oh, shit's out of focus. If you see in the corner there, it says 50, fuck. It says 50% well sugar, 50% off. So it says 50% less sugar than normal stuff. But anyway, nothing happened. Let's get to drinking. Drink that coffee, boy. All right, cheers, bruvies. Mm. Damn, I needed that. Cold and motherfucker out today. See all them duckies. <laughs> Here, I'll switch it around. There's them little duckies. It's kind of a cool little area. It's not a whole lot of people out here. Just sort of sitting out here chilling. You get this little island and stuff out there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You know? Hmm. Again, I'm seeing uh, a lot of <clears throat> like interrupted signals and things like that. So, so if the signal is kind of crap now. I apologize. Hopefully, once you hit the post stream, it'll be better. But it saves a copy of it on my phone. So, bad signal or not, <laughs> he, threw, he threw the food. Anyway, so anyway, so it saves a, a copy of it on my phone after every stream. 
So uh, if it's really bad, then I'll just replace it with that one. But you lose out on all the comments and stuff, so it has to be pretty bad for me to replace it. Although I could, um, excuse me, I could make a VOD channel maybe. Do it that way. I have to find some way to do it. Alrighty. Yep. Yeah. That was a good coffee. So. I sat on it. Let's see. They got. Hey. Let's come across so they might not. Uh, you got a place to put this away at? I didn't even see this one over here. Well, that's cool. Oh, it does take card. I was gonna say it doesn't take card, but it does take card, so I done that. But I'm already caffeinated up. Look for a spot to fish this, but I don't see any. Well, it's kind of crow for you, I guess. Usually they have like a little uh, thing you can just throw your stuff away. But I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> so. eh. Well, I think I'm gonna have to carry <laughs> carry this fucking thing all the way to the station. Uh. <laughs> yeah, probably. Spots like Kamakura, it's hard to find a trash can or a uh, thing for your cans. So you have to walk to the Gumbini or station or something like that. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have a plastic bag on me, so I don't want that shit leaking everywhere. Because it will, it always does. Let's see. Alright, where are we at? Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, this is cool. Yeah, sorry if you're just now tuning into this and you're like, this ain't the beach. Andy Sam lied to us. Not necessarily. I mean, I did go to the beach earlier. But, um, well, that's cool. That's what everybody's looking at. This Hojo ex exhibition. That's cute. Kamakura. Huh, cool. Interesting. Interesting. If I had more money, I'd go. Obviously, you can't stream there. Obviously. <laughs> but. Oh man, all the foliage and things. It's a pretty good time to come come out this way too, because it's all the momiji, the maple. It's this bright red. But it would also be a good time to go to Kamakura. Or not Kamakura. Well, yes, Kamakura, but uh, Kyoto. What I meant to say. <laughs> Maybe I should have got the screw top one instead of carrying around this can. Uh, hindsight. Oh well. Just have a little looky loo. See some shrines and stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So. I don't think I've been to this part of uh, Tom Curve before. See all these little stones and stuff? That's pretty cool. And 
that tree stuff. Ah, this is nice. Oh, I can see the little koi out there. It's like an orange one. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's pretty far. Oh, there's one right here too. So you can get a close up. See, there he is. Oh, there's a lot more of them. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see those other ones. All right, I see you. I see you. Just koi. I was looking at the one that was like way out there. Damn, man. I really wish I would have brought my camera. Like my camera camera. Hey, maybe next time. Maybe next time. I see a little meet you right there. A little maple. So, yeah, koi down there. Pretty cool, yeah. Okay. Switch it back. Alright. Back on the move. That's cool. I got this little. Office temple, I don't know what the hell this is, but pretty cool. Yeah, definitely got to bring my camera out here for a proper shoot next time. I was just kind of out here faffing about, but <laughs> you know, you know. Let's see. They got a, usually they got trash cans or nothing. That's the temple, so prob probably not. <laughs> Took me a sec. The sun was blinding my face there. Uh, let's see. See, so yeah, I remember we took like a trip oops, many years ago up to uh, this temple area, and she walked us. Oh shit! Fifteen percent. Okay. Yeah, definitely got to get a new phone, man. <laughs> This one's battery just sparks out here. All right, um, I guess we'll get to the end of the shrine and then we'll sign off. Hopefully it doesn't die before then. Cause I just got the, the cutest you do for my phone. Yeah, we've only been streaming like a little over an hour too. That one. So, <sighs> freaking transmission unsecure. Um, such as that. All right, so I guess I'll just do it here before my phone completely shits the bed. Okay, so we get the nice thumbnail. Do it from the front, baby. All right, so. Burp. How am I gonna do this? There we go. There we go, okay. All right, so we got the temple in the background. Oh. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. No, just kidding. But am I? All right. All right, guys, so I'm gonna head out. My phone's about ready to die. Thank you all for tuning into this uh, scuffed live stream starting on the beach, ended up here in Kamakura. So, with that said, this is Andy. Sign up for now. As always, forever. See you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Okay. Yeah, it should be.